Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope your day is going well. My name is Kieran Truss. Um, today's video, this is the prerequisites to blob hunting uh, within Azure. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is um, we already went through what is uh, blob hunting and how that is. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, please uh, just uh, go to part one of this uh, video um, series. Uh, what I want to do is kind of go into the prerequisites to kind of get you to the point of now going through and actually doing the blob hunting. And we have to do a couple different things. So the first one is a virtual machine. So I'm using a virtual machine within Azure. Um, it's going to be in the West US location, uh, but you don't necessarily need to do that. You can do this from your own um, desktop, right? Me, I, I can, I have a Mac. Um, but I just thought it was easier just to show it through a Windows machine. So I just set something up within the Azure environment. Um, then we're going to have a storage account because we need to have a storage account. And I'm going to give you uh, the criteria, which you need to set up your storage account for public access. I have a storage account created already, and I'll go through that with you um, throughout this video. And then finally, we got to install the PowerShell module. So we have to have the AZ model azure az model and then we're going to have the ms online and then finally we're going to use microburst is what we're going to use for penetration testing uh within our azure environment okay so over at the azure portal you can see i have my hunting pc this is going to be our virtual machine that i'm going to be using throughout this um process this is a windows 10 machine it's up to you, you can use windows 10 windows 11 it's totally up to you it's it's, it's you're totally your choice and then over here, what I'm going to do is just show you the storage account. So this storage account is called Storage Locate 23. Just came up with a really quick name. The storage account is in the East US. The virtual machine is West US. Um, and in this storage account, what I have, I have it set up. So if I go to networking, what we want to do is we want to make sure we set it up for um, blob hunting because I want to show you exactly what a misconfiguration can do in your environment. And I have it uh, set up for enable from all networks. Also, I have a container here and I have only one container, which I set up and this container, if I come over here, uh, let's see access policy. There's no access policy in this. What I want to say, I want to show you what's in the container and I have a document, which is just uh, address dot doc X. Uh, they all, it's a word document and this is a cute dog uh, JPEG that I have here as well. And then I have a secret info doc. Um, as well, that's in this um, uh, container, right? Um, and then here, the, the access level, I have it on container, anonymous read access. So I have that set up. All right, cool. Now we need to go over to the virtual machine. So I'm here at the virtual machine. Uh, one thing I want you to do is, is go into, um, uh, type in microburst Azure. So if you type in Microsoft Burst Azure, you'll get to this GitHub page. And within this GitHub page, you'll see it's talk about Microburst, a PowerShell toolkit for attacking Azure, right? Um, it's really cool and powerful toolkit that they have uh, created here. And you can see all the contrib contributors, the authors for this uh, specific toolkit. And what you need to do is download this, which I already downloaded it and I extracted it and I have it in my documents. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up PowerShell and I need to run um, a bunch of PowerShell commands that is going to give me the ability to run this um, package, the microburst, successfully. So the first thing I'm going to do is install AZ PowerShell. But what I want to do is I want to type in get dash command. And what I'll do is I'm going to say do the asterisk AZ asterisk again and see what comes up. So nothing is really coming up. It's just this AZ man dot MS MSC um application um because i don't have it installed so one of the things i want to do is i'm going to type in install and i ran this as an administrator right so that's one of the things i want you to know i ran this as administrator and i'm going to type in az actually i should have ran it this way what i really want to run is install module name az allow clobber right and what that clobber command does is so to allow clobber command, what it does is overrides warning messages about installation conflicts, about existing commands on a computer, overrides existing commands that have the same name as commands being installed by a module. Allow clobber and force can be used together in an install module command. 
So it's, let's say if you have a PowerShell module and you say, okay, well, I need to up, update it or upgrade it, I should say, and you run this command after, it's just gonna say, hey, instead of asking you replace, 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 or it might come up with some error messages because there's already a file existing there. It's just saying, hey, pretty much just rewrite over everything um, that is there um, so that this way that you can have a nice clean installation. So back at the PowerShell com uh, screen, what I'm gonna do is just run this command. And we're gonna say yes, because uh, newer version, you wanna install the PowerShell, install the import, yes. And let's go ahead and let that install. Click yes for that one too. It says untrusted, but we know exactly where we're getting it from. It's Microsoft. Okay, so we got that installed. So the next thing we're gonna install is the install module um, Azure AD. And then now we're gonna install install module MS Online. All right, so now that we got that installed, what I wanna do is I wanna import the microburst.psmi. So that is in uh, some documents. Let's look at the directory. We have the microburst. So we're going to CD again, microburst master. And then what we're going to do is import module. And I didn't have to do it that way, to be honest with you. Um, microburst PSMI. And we are going to run this. So it's gonna give you this where you have to run it a bunch of times. Um, I'm just trying to get through this whole thing. So we run it again. I did this before. I didn't get those messages that way. Um, all right, cool. All right, so this is installed as well. So we went through the virtual machine. We have the storage account. We have our PowerShell commands. We have everything going. So that's a wrap for this prerequisite video. In the next video, we're gonna go a deep dive into how we can search for Azure Blobs and how that works. Mm -hmm.